Hi everybody, this is Mr. Fowley, and welcome to Podcast 11.2, where we will define enthalpy and state, and whether positive and negative enthalpy is favored in nature. Um, we're actually going to drop this, I forgot to erase that, sorry. The term for action is positive or negative delta S, um, define the term spontaneous, define entropy, and provide examples of high and low entropy, determine if enthalpy or entropy increase or decrease, define Gibbs free energy, and how that relates to spontaneity, and determine if a reaction is spontaneous or not. So let's go ahead and hop to it. So, will a rock roll down a hill spontaneously? Um, I hope you answer yes. Um, spontaneous, a reaction will occur without requiring extra energy. So notice a spontaneous reaction will occur. This rock will roll down the hill. Okay, The non-spontaneous reaction would be if a ball rolls up a hill. That doesn't happen unless you put extra energy into it. Okay, So the word spontaneous means something will occur without requiring extra energy. Spontaneous does not mean fast. Okay, In January, I ran over an opossum. Whoops. I also ran over an opossum this morning. Both are equally spontaneous. So the first opossum will decompose slowly. This would be the January one, right? Because it's cold outside and it's buried in feet and feet and feet of snow. Okay, The one I just de just ran over will decompose quickly because it's warmer outside, it's going to be hot, all the little critters are going to decompose it faster. Okay, And then this is the uh, giant squirrel that I just cracks me up when I found that. Squirrel was run over in my neighborhood and we put G.I. Joe's on it. <laughs> Spontaneous requires activation energy. Okay, So even though it doesn't require energy to do it, it still needs a little bit of a start. Okay, So a log burning will continue to burn. Check. But my pencil, which is made out of wood, doesn't burst into flame. It needs a little bit of a start. So if I go back to that, if I had the dude or a little wedge in the hill for the mountain, for the boulder, well, I guess that boulder is going to stay looking like that. For the boulder, my activation energy would be removing that little wedge. Then it would roll down the hill freely. Okay, but if it was already rolling down the hill, chuka 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 chuka, it would keep rolling down the hill. Chuka 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 chuka. Entropy stands for delta S. Delta S is disorder or randomness, and the best word for it is chaos. Okay. More gases equal more entropy. Okay, so if more gases equal more entropy, um, solution solution forms from a solid and a liquid, that's more entropy. Okay, so more gases, more entropy, more disorder. Because remember, if I have a gas, it fills up the whole space and it shuffles and scrambles around all over the place and they're all moving like crazy and it's, uh, and it's a big mess of disorder and chaos. Um, more particles equal more entropy. And an increase in temperature or volume equals more entropy. All of these things increase the disorder. Okay, So more things equal more entropy because there's more ways to scramble them around. Increased temperature or volume equals more entropy um, because more temperature means they move faster. And if you have more volume, that's more entropy. There's more ways to scramble apart. Nature favors having more entropy. Solid goes into liquid. See how this rearranges in a bunch of different more ways? See how this has a little hump on the top in this part? It could have a bunch of different more arrangements. So a liquid, more entropy. Now you might ask, why is entropy delta S? I don't know. I just say that's stupid. Okay. Liquid to vapor, see how it has even more ways to arrange themselves. They could be closer together, they could be farther apart. So a vapor or a gas has more entropy. See how this is neat and organized? See how this is scrambled? This is more entropy. System at temperature 1, system at T2, see if it's hotter. This one will have more entropy because it has more energy. It's like shuffling, actively shuffling a deck of cards. So hotter means more entropy. 
I hope you wrote that down. I'm glad you did. So here are some examples. So notice here I have two gases and a solid. Two gas, one solid. Over here I have one gas. Now wait, two gases. Oh, the coefficient counts? Yeah. So two gases and one solid makes a bigger mess than one gas. So this side has more entropy, which is delta S. This one has less entropy, less delta S. So delta S went down is negative. Okay. Solid and a liquid turns into aqueous. Remember how we showed right here? If you dissolve things, it has more disorder. So delta S is positive. Hot water, cold water. This would be more delta S. Remember, because it's moving around faster, faster, scramble, scramble, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Cold water is slower, less delta S. So that means delta S went down. If it goes down, it's negative. Sugar cubed, neat. Ground up sugar, chaos. I misspelled chaos to chose. Chaos. So that means it is more delta S. Okay, so that means it is delta S went up. It became more disordered. A dead squirrel turns into a smeared squirrel. Well, this I could smear it in a bunch of different ways. So it's like shuffling it and smashing it around. It's more chaos, more of a mess. More of a mess means more disorder. So delta S is positive. Increased entropy and decreased enthalpy. Remember, enthalpy, if you remember before, is heat or energy. So that means is favored in nature. So what is favored? High or low energy? Low energy. Remember the baby example? Do babies want to be, be high energy? No! Eh, or low energy? rock a -bye, baby eh, uh -huh. Low is favored. What is favored? Combed hair or messy hair? Messy is favored. Right? If what's-his-name did not comb his hair for a week, he would look like a troll doll. Ha, 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 ha. Okay? So, what does nature love? Mess? A low-energy mess. Nature loves a low-energy mess. Delta G is Gibbs free energy. G stands for Gibbs. He's the dude who figured it out. It's just spontaneity for us. What's spontaneity again? Will it, or is it happening? Remember, that's what spontaneity is. If delta G is negative, the reaction is spontaneous. If delta G is positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous. And this one's scary. The opposite occurs. Okay? So if the reaction you want to have happen is, I want to make a million bucks, but the reaction is non-spontaneous, it's not that you don't make a million bucks. It's that you lose a million bucks. Ah! Okay? The opposite occurs. Delta G is zero, the reaction is at equilibrium, meaning both you'd gain a million, lose a million, gain a million, lose a million, gain a million, lose a million. Okay? And if you wonder why it's called free energy, free energy is energy free to do work. We don't use that at all, but it hopefully it'll make some sense to you. Delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. This is the formula for it. So delta G um, that's that's kind of bad for me. So delta H and delta S affect spontaneity. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on, now you can either do this based on the math, right? But I'm going to talk about what nature likes. Okay? Nature likes to lose energy. Oh, nature likes this. Nature hates to gain energy. Okay? Disorder, remember nature loves a bigger mess. It hates to clean up. It hates to clean up. It loves a bigger mess, okay? So if you look here, nature loves these two things, okay? So if, I almost think of it like, would you go out with someone, and if this is, is the person hot? Hot. And is the person, um, I don't know, I don't know, good personality? If they're hot and have a good personality, you will always date them. Remember, and always spontaneous is negative. 
If they're not at all hot and have a terrible personality, you'll never date them. Oh, if they're very hot but have a bad personality, well, it depends. How hot, how bad is their personality? Maybe, and it's dependent on the temperature. Okay? What if they're not very good looking but have a great personality? Maybe. It depends on the temperature. It depends on which one's bigger, right? Do the math. Okay, and you do the math on this, just the temperature will change it. Okay? If delta G is zero, the system is at equilibrium. That means both reactions are going at the same time, but it looks like the reaction has stopped. Notice it doesn't, but both reactions are happening at once. Review. Delta H and delta S determine spontaneity delta G. Okay, so if I ask you what's enthalpy, oh, that's delta H. What's entropy, oh, that's delta S. What's spontaneity, oh, that's delta G. What if I asked for regular words? Enthalpy is energy. Delta S is chaos, or messiness, or disorder. And spontaneity is delta G, which is spontaneity. That's nice. Entropy is disorder, and often found by counting gases. A lab can be done. Oh, we're not doing that lab. It got cut. Woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, which means we are done. Toodles.